No matter who made your laser or how powerful it is, there's going to come a time when you're up against a piece of material that's just too thick to cut. And while your laser software probably allows you to do multiple passes, what you'll discover if you do that is you don't actually get any deeper in any real sense. All you end up doing is charring the sidewalls of the cut you made in the previous pass. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to talk about a technique that I developed a while ago to, in a sense, hack my laser to allow it to get through thicker materials. Now, while I'm going to talk about this in the context of Amuse 3D, this should work for any laser. Most lasers will have the ability to, to handle this. So if you're interested in learning how to cut thick materials, then stick around. How's it going everybody? I'm Steve and I make everything and welcome back to the shop where together we make your world using modern workshop technologies. A couple of weeks ago I made a video on building boxes and in that video if you haven't seen it I'll put a link up above I used 8th inch plywood. Now if you have a 40 or 45 watt laser 8th inch plywood is a breeze to cut but recently I've been making additional boxes for people and I've been using quarter inch plywood and in this case the standard hardware store plywood which is pretty tough stuff to cut and if you have a 40 watt laser getting through that stuff is really hard. So your laser has to be perfectly aligned, the optics have to be clean, and even then it's, it's honestly, it's a push. So what I did in, in the case of my project I was building, and I'll put a video up here to show you what I built. I used a trick that I've used in the past with my laser to do a multi-pass, but not just the standard multi-pass through the same area. And what I'm doing in this case is actually going into manual focus. And if you haven't played with manual focus, most lasers support it. So, you know, you should be able to do replicate things in this video on your own laser, but I'll show you what I did and, and basically how to measure the optimal refocusing for, for your material so you can get a, you know, a nice clean cut through the material. So let's get going. If we start to look uh, at the laser and where these problems actually start. So we have the laser shooting a beam down and that, and the laser, the last element, optical element in the laser is a, is a lens. And that lens in my case is a two inch lens, about 50 millimeters. So the beam is being focused to a point 50 millimeters from the back surface of that lens which if you add up all, the, all of the distance here, the laser tube itself, you, you see it in, the, in any of my videos, there's a little silver tube, aluminum tube that comes down. So from the bottom of that tube to the top of the material is 4.65 millimeters is the standard default focal focus distance. In the case of a three millimeter material, what it does is kind of pushes this focal point down towards the bottom of the material. So everything in that area will get cut. The problem with a six millimeter piece of material is the beam is being focused somewhere in the middle of the material rather than closer to the bottom. And the dispersion past the focal point, there just isn't enough power to cut the material all the way through. So this is the problem you run into. So the real challenge is, can we, can we hack this? And uh, you know, the answer of course is yes, we can play around with manual focus in our materials and push that focal point closer to the bottom on a second pass. And, you know, so that's one of the things we'll try here and we'll see what happens. So I created a quick drawing here in, in Inkscape. And again, you can use any drawing tool, it doesn't matter. Uh, and what I, it, it's basically a template that I'm gonna use as a gauge to see what the best settings are to, uh, for my laser to get the best cut through this quarter inch plywood. And in the first pass, what I'm gonna do is cut these five, 15 millimeter squares. The leftmost one, number one, we'll, we'll call it, is just gonna be our reference square. And that one will just be a single pass through with the standard power that I use for quarter inch plywood. And I've actually kind of backed it down a bit for the purposes of making the rest of these work out well. But it will be basically the first pass layer. And we'll use that same power setting for the other five on the first pass. But then what I did was I created four additional layers for these subsequent ones and I cloned the square and I pushed it onto a separate layer. And the reason for that is we're gonna cut the first pass with five squares and then for, we'll, we'll do kind of a second pass at different focal lengths for each of these and we'll find out which one is the best focal length. So you can use this as a tool to calibrate the focus on your laser for that second pass. And what we're really trying to do is 
get the laser focus pushed down a bit. Now, and you know, I can show you how that works here in a second. So I've loaded up my drawing in the Retina and Gray 3 simulator, and I'm using the simulator to keep the noise down in the background so I don't have to run my laser. But what, what you can see is those five elements that I created, and so one representing each, each of the square. Now the first one is the underlying first pass square for all of them, and then there's a subsequent second pass for the, for the four on the right-hand side. And what I'm gonna do is, is use those colors, and you can see them over here, to change the focus for each of these and reduce it by a half a millimeter for each of them. So what that'll allow us to do is push the laser focus down. I mentioned in the, in the drawing, the, the point of the laser is currently around the middle of a six millimeter material, and we can now push that down to closer to the bottom of the material. So when we do that second pass, we're actually cutting new material. Uh, anyway, so what I did is you'll notice this weird red circle. You've probably not seen it if you haven't played with focus. And what I did to get that is I clicked this plus sign over here. And what that's doing is setting the focus depth. And I mentioned we were doing manual focus, but we're actually gonna do kind of a semi-automatic focus here where it's auto focus, but I can control the focus height. And normally on my laser, this one is 0.465 millimeters, which is that first cut. And uh, what I'll do is I'll set each of the subsequent ones. The first one I'll set to 0.3, and then I'll drop a half a millimeter for each subsequent one. So, uh, and I'll just quickly hammer them in here. And, and what you can see as a result of this is we now have individual... Uh, focus points for each of them. And you'll see what this really amounts to when it cuts is basically five jobs. So the first one, it'll cut all five as a first pass, and then it'll subsequently go to each one of these squares and it will cut at that height, at that focus height. So that really, that's all you have to do. Uh, I did speed up the laser here. I set this speed to 25% for all of these, 100% power, of course. And normally if I was just trying to do this in a single pass, I would probably set this on my laser down to maybe 18%. But as I mentioned, it doesn't cut all the way through. So you end up having to do a bunch of work to try and get your part out of the, out of the, you know, the core material. So what we're trying to do here is we actually want to speed it up a bit because we want to reduce that charring as much as possible. But then on the second pass, we're pushing the focal point down and that should allow us to get a much cleaner cut and all the way through depending on the, on the right focus height here. So that's it. I'll, uh, I'll get these things cut out and I'll show you what it looks like. So I did the laser cut and uh, let's take a look at, at what got produced here. And uh, so here's my board. I've numbered the pieces from left to right, one to five, just so that we don't lose track of them. And you can see on the back as well that, uh, that some, some power focus lengths have better, clearly better uh, ability to cut. So the original on the right hand side. It just didn't cut through at all. And I did this on purpose. I mentioned I kind of scaled things back. But if I, the, the way to test this is to kind of push these things out and see which one is, is the best cut. And you can see number five, it just, I just pushed it from the back and it popped right out. And, uh, but let's, let's take, grab these things and take a look at them and see what the, what the differences are. So you can see on number three, there's, there's a bit of a, a material sticking off the side there. So we broke a piece out of it. And same on, on the number two, there's kind of a rough edge. And number four, so it's, it's definitely better. And on number five, it's nice and clean. And that's one of the reasons it popped out. There was really nothing holding it there, but the curve. So, Clearly in our case, number five, which was the uh, 1.5 millimeter focus is the best one, at least on my laser. But you can certainly try this on your own laser and see which one works for you. But definitely this will get you nice clean cuts and you'll have very little uh, effort to pop the pieces out of, out of the material. And you know, there you go. 
So there's another tip for your arsenal. And uh, if you're cutting thicker material, give this a try and see how successful it is. Feel free to leave a comment down below to describe the material you're cutting, the thickness, and also what laser you're using. Not everybody here has a Muse and it's interesting to, to hear how other people are experiencing some of these challenges. Uh, hopefully you got something out of this video and uh, as always I'll put a couple of videos over on the side here. Uh, feel free to go watch those and if you do I'll see you on the other side. And other than that, go make your world and I'll see you next time.